to cast if you get up in the morning and you have dreams and visions apostle i was sitting and the next thing i saw something quickly let your mind go to scripture use the lens of scripture and begin to judge all you saw and heard i have taught you it is written is greater than i went it is written is greater than i saw it is written is greater than i heard you can use it is written to change what you saw you, you can use it is written to change what you heard apostle i saw that my ministry has gone down you are right based on that vision perhaps it's a revelation of tragedy satan is programming now use it is written your victory in christ as written and revealed to you by the spirit to now change that narrative when prophet isaiah met hezekiah and said put your house in order you will not leave he said all right god bless you prophet i respect you you go just leave me alone with god hebrews chapter 1 God, who in sundry times and diverse manner spake to us in time past through the prophets, hath in these last days, verse 2, spoken to us through his son, whom he had appointed to be heir of how many things? All things. All things. Let's even read it to verse 3. By whom also, leave verse 2, let me finish verse 2. By whom also he had made the walls. Let's read verse 3 together if you are a believer. Ready? One to read. Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power. All things means all experiences too. Upholding all things by the word of his power. So all my experiences, no matter what they are, I gather them together and bring them through the filter of scripture. And I begin to edit the ones that are not word compliant and throw them with joy. Do you know, for many of you who have followed Papa Hagen of Blessed Memory, if you follow Papa Hagen's ministry, especially when he begins to move by the Spirit ministering, it is amazing how humble that man is and how, how disciplined he is to make sure his visions and his experiences are word compliant. You will see him prophesying and you will stop in the middle of his prophecy and say, no, 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 I reject that. That is not consistent with scripture. Then you will continue prophesying. That means he's not ashamed to say, look, I am human and I'm evolving in accuracy. And if for any reason I capture what is inconsistent with the word of God, I will cancel it in your presence before I continue. Hallelujah. This is where men void of ego, void of pride. They were determined to see the purity of the counsel of God as revealed in scripture that it comes to men. Listen to me. I, I respectfully tell you, the church in Africa, the church in Nigeria, we are doing well and God is granting us grace. I think the area where we need to come into compliance is a restoration of doctrine and a restoration of the supremacy of the word of God above all prophetic, apostolic, evangelical, pastoral experiences. Until we get to a point where we become students of doctrine and we get to a point where we respect the supremacy of the word above gifts, above experiences, there's going to be a serious problem. I have had many visions. There are many visions that led to the birthing of Koinonia. But the basis upon which we do what we do, it, it is written. Not where I went to. When I speak about my visionary encounters that led to ministry, they are only supporting structures. It is not because of those visions I'm doing what I'm doing now. Are we together? It is because I found in scripture the place written concerning me, and the role that koinonia has to play it says the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit let it abide with you all he was speaking to the whole church not individuals so we must we must be restored to doctrinal accuracy and now with all due respect this is where we need to applaud and respect what we call, with all due respect, what we call the orthodox circles. You know, Pentecostals and Charismatics were quick to talk about, we are saying, oh, there's no manifestation of the spirit. But you, doctrinal accuracy, at least at the level that they can, you find that there is, there is structure and understanding of doctrine. But Pentecostals, how do you say I'm not serious when somebody is falling down? 
it doesn't matter by what influence i can say a lot of nonsense and once i wrap it up within jesus name and somebody is shouting it seems to justify so you find out that there is a lot of charismatism without methodical growth and maturity after three four five years in koinonia for instance believers still stunted the works of the flesh still alive no transformation no conformity no love no doctrinal accuracy no it ought not to be so. Is someone learning? However, visionary experiences are powerful and wonderful. They do something to your spirit man. Do not reject them. They are also a kind of experience and God desires to bring it to his people. As a man of God, upon the strength of visionary experiences, once your life is word-based, you do not fear supernatural experiences. You, you see me walk in the spirit as I minister to people, maybe during the miracle services. These things come because of the advantage. Once you have the foundation of the word, you do not need to fear visionary experiences because the word of God remains the confirmer. There are many things I see beyond the things I say. Some of them are unnecessary. The wisdom of, of scripture, for instance, says do not rebuke an elder in public. So if God shows me something about someone and that person is considered an elder, I will not announce it and speak here because it will bring more disaster to God's people than it will profit them. That's the advantage of scripture. Are we together now? If I call out a man and his wife, for instance, by prophecy and through the, the gift of word of knowledge and all of this, and if I see that there is an issue that can cause problem in their home and then it can spoil their name and their image, the wisdom of scripture mandates that we have been given the ministry of reconciliation. I rather wrap it up and tell them, come and see me in the office or see me somewhere not just to announce their issue and cause trouble they may be saved but you have created more damage especially in this social media world so the wisdom of scripture helps you to dispense visions with balance are you getting the point now if you see everything you if you say everything you see you have not grown in the spirit The real spirituality is not in the seeing. It's the discipline to sieve out what comes from your mouth. To ensure that it ministers grace to the hearers. The Bible says. Is someone learning?